the reason why it's so beneficial is because once you have uh, y- your whole life, you're just building up toxins, you know, from everything you eat. And once you give yourself a chance to stop, you know, digesting food, your body can actually focus on getting rid of these toxins that you've accumulated throughout your whole life. And by the end of the fast, you uh, feel like you never felt before because you've never experienced being so toxin free. Yeah, especially in this um, in this state, Utah. <clears throat> Utah, you know, you find a lot of people uh, that think that fasting is for religious purposes only. You know, like fasting is 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 something that uh, they they only did for blessings, that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. And, and in reality, you know, you, you can actually look into it from a medical point of view as a health benefits, exactly. you know, you, uh, and it's, and it's not just 24 hour fasts or 72 hour fasts. They can go for long periods of times mm-hmm. and you can go from a week, two weeks, 30 days. Yeah. I think really, if you were to train yourself train your body enough you could actually uh, pretty much go for like your whole life uh if, if you were to just adapt to that because according to man's higher consciousness um you can really uh become a breatharian if you if you train yourself and what that is is basically someone who just relies on breathing air only and they don't even eat food and the only way to do that is a actually start by eating this less dense food so you cut out meat and that kind of stuff first and then you just go less and less dense with your foods until you're just eating fruit and then you also don't want to lower the quantity of the food so you just eat less food and you get used to doing that then you just drink juices after a while and eventually you just stop eating food and maybe you have water occasionally and that's why in like the Bible, you see people living for long periods of times Mm -hmm. because I think when, when God created everything, everything was still fresh, you know, everything was still new. And so the hunting was not, uh, you know, um, an option, not, 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 not an option, but like, like, um, a thought in their mind because the fruit, the fruit was so plentiful, Mm -hmm. you know, uh, they could just harvest, you know, their, their, their grains, whatnot, and um, and then I think it was you know uh, the descendants of Cain who who started to do that yeah, sort of hunting could, and yeah, it could have been yeah Cain's descendants or fallen angels uh, coming and basically corrupting people who yeah. were already you know living a good life but they corrupted them and and there's there's like uh, the the British scientist uh, Professor Huxley. He carried out an experiment with earthworms. Um, he fed an entire colony with uh, their usual food, and then left one isolated from the rest. Um, and he he made that one eat less than the others, um, while that one lived through nineteen generations. Um, Yeah, it was it was that Yeah, that one worm lived while 19 generations passed away and lived on. Yeah, that's crazy. Like that's that's a long time for an earthworm. Yeah, and th- th- there's been a lot of studies like that done with where you just with animals you know, and where you just basically live give uh, one animal uh, less food than the rest of them and that one ends up living way longer or just being way healthier. And, and yeah, they, they can literally go generations beyond the rest of them. Like, as if, you know, if, if it's a, a human perspective, it'd be like, you know, we'd be living like 500 years old. Yeah. And like, so, cause a lot of the people in the, in the Bible were living almost a thousand. Exactly. Some of them 500, 800. I remember looking at that going, uh, yeah. cause I, I had this theory that, you know, it was just shorter, uh, shorter months, shorter weeks, you know, so an overall shorter year. And so time just, you know, kind of went by quicker for everyone. Yeah. But, you know, it's that the the four seasons don't change, you know, they still have that full year just like we do. 
Um, and, and it's like, it's just because they, the way they ate, you know, the way they lived and where they lived and how fresh the air was. Yeah, I think even back then, you know, there was probably way more trees. So that means the air quality was way better. So there's probably many reasons why uh, they lived healthier back then. But yeah, the, a big part of it was just the way they ate. They ate way healthier foods. And it was probably just fruit for the most part. And, you know, they probably ate less food than we do now. Like, we are used to eating way more food than we need to. And, yeah, so going back to the fasting thing, like, some people think that, like, you know, fasting is like starving yourself in a way. But, like, uh, therapeutic fasting explains that it's not that way. Like, basically what happens is you have excess nutrients uh, stored away in the bone marrow. And what happens is when you start fasting, you start using up this excess nutrients in the bone marrow. And so you're not actually starving yet because you still have nutrients that your body is, is taking up. And so you're not actually like, you know, your, your stomach's not like getting dissolved or something like that. It's the nutrients in the bone marrow, bone marrow being used up. And once that nutrients is gone, that's when the starvation process can kick in. But until then... You're just fasting. Right on. So, yeah, basically, like, it, it's different depending on the person. Like, one person might have more of that nutrient stored away in their bone marrow because they might have had, you know, just eat, ate more in their life, and so they have more nutrients stored away. And so it can take longer for depending on the person. And, and there's a few signs uh, to watch out for when you're fasting. Is what it says. Is, is one thing about like your tongue, like it gets a coating on it. Yeah, a white coating. Yep, and, and and once that goes away, it's when the start. It's when the starvation process can start kicking in again. It's like basically when the fasting process is complete. Yep. And 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 what happens is, uh, the first like uh, three days when you're fasting, you actually uh, are really hungry. You feel really hungry and stuff, obviously. But after about the third day or so, uh, it kind of goes away. The hunger subsides and you don't really feel hungry for a long time until about 30 days or, or whenever it is. And, and once you start feeling hungry again, that's when you know the starvation process might be starting. And and in that three days, after that third day, uh, food actually starts to make you sick. The smell of food makes you sick. Uh, you actually just kind of don't even want it because you're using the the nutrients in your body you know, you're burning through fat, you're burning through all that toxin buildup, and uh, you're just cleansing your entire body. And you go, uh, and then after after those three days and into those thirty days, you start going through a process called rejuvenescence. Um, and it's where you, your your muscles, your your entire body just gets rejuvenated, your whole cells, and uh, there's evidence to support this because it's, it's on your skin. It's, it's the skin becomes more youthful. Um, you, it's, you know, it's, you can see your eyes clearing up, you know, if you have any stigmatisms in your eyes, like mm -hmm. it, it, your, your body is just going through a natural process of restoring itself. Exactly. And, and that's why when I was talking about the earthworm is, is he lived longer is because, um, that body has more time to repair itself instead of just building up more and more nutrients to slow it down. Exactly. Yeah, it's pretty fascinating. Like, uh, in man's higher consciousness, uh, it mentions that, like, uh, several doctors, they, they can't explain why uh, people d just die, on, honestly. Like, they don't know why the human body can't go on forever, because it's designed to do that. Like, think about when you get a cut and stuff, it heals itself, after, you know, like, if you just allow your body to do its job, it'll it'll do it. It'll take care of itself. It'll re repair itself. And so, like scientists honestly can't figure out why the human body can't just go on forever. A and the reason for that is really because we just keep polluting it over and over again. And it just after so long, it just can't keep up with it anymore. We live in such a, a high intake society where where food cuisine 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 or uh you know like eating is is just such a big part of our lives exactly and and i think it's just because with modern technology and consumerism 
you know, we feel obligated to go to these, uh, you know, breakfast, lunch, and dinners and, and the, the snacking in between, uh, you know, I grew up with my dad and, and he always ate, he was eating constantly, you know, and he's got that pot belly kind of a thing going on too. And it's just like, if, if he would just stop to eat once in a while, you know, it would break up that, uh, cycle and it would allow his, his body, his, you know, to go through that process of rejuvenescence and to carry him through a, a longer life. Exactly. Like, and yeah, so you, you can really, uh, fix almost any problem you have with, with your health by fasting. Cause it's, cause really like there's a book called Toxemia Explained. And really that, uh, kind of tells you that there's only one disease out there. There's only one cause for disease. And what that really is, it's just, it's a buildup of toxins. You build up toxins over your lifetime and you just never get rid of them. And, and so every illness that we experience is, 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 is just a result of that toxemia. It's, and so it's, just, it expresses on different levels. Basically you can have diabetes or cancer, or you can have just, you know, you can just get sick occasionally. And, but no matter how severe it is, it's still the same cause. It's still just toxins yeah. in your system that have not been uh, rid of. Scientists just give it a different name because each toxin will attack a, a different part of your body. You know, with, with diabetes, it'll it'll uh, attack uh, your... Um, the pancreas. word... The pancreas, yeah. And then um, your insulin levels will fluctuate, you know all that. And then in some cases, you know, you, you'll, you'll start to have to like amputate legs or, uh, you go into, uh, blindness, you know, it, it actually is like build up in your eyes. And, and if you allow for the, the fasting process to, to go through, then, then you'll actually get rid of that mm -hmm. and essentially just cure your diabetes. Exactly. Like, because that's all it is. That's all it ever is. It's just you have too many toxins in your system, and you just need to just give your body a break. You just have a chance to uh, actually cleanse your system rather than continuing bombarding it and to the point that you just your body can't handle it anymore, and you just end up dying. And so if everyone knew this, I think uh, we'd have a lot better health in our society, but... Well, and, and that's where you could get a little conspiratorial. They don't want you to know. They want mm -hmm. you to go to the, the doctor and slice you up and take that, you know, toxin out or whatever organ, you know, is, is causing yeah, the, the they, they problem. They take extreme measures, um, you know, and they don't really need to. And, you know, when really the truth about it is it's, it's simple. Yeah. Health, health is simple, but, you know, people complicate it. Oh, and, scientists complicate yeah. things because they, they try to answer the question why exactly you know? and and not everything needs to be answered that's true 